Good evening and welcome. My name is Rajiv and uh, I teach verbal here. My experience is only 20 plus years in this field. Okay guys, let us start with this session. First, we shall be talking about uh, vocabulary. The purpose of taking up this uh, vocabulary session was just to make us aware uh, about few vocabulary tricks. And uh, second, the second topic we shall be taking today would be analogies. It is part and parcel of your CLAT or you talk about BBA exam, hotel management, NCHMCT. You will find at least two to three questions in uh, most of these uh, exams, analogies. But backbone of this verbal section is your vocabulary. And uh, most of us are not comfortable with this section. Just tell me guys uh, whether you are comfortable with this section or not. Are you in position to write your own dictionary? Can, can you compete with Cambridge, Oxford, etc.? Are you so confident about your vocabulary? No? Then what is stopping you? Becoming Oxford, Cambridge, etc. What is stopping you? Go ahead and fight. Make your presence felt in this world. Okay. Uh, kind of thoda jada ho gaya na? So you have to be serious and practical. At the same time, we were talking about vocabulary. Let us try to guess the meaning of it. Then I will be coming on to the vocabulary tricks. Purpose of this session, in vocabulary session, we shall be learning few tricks to retain the words the main problem with the vocabulary is that we are not able to retain the word number one number two is that uh, we are not able to know where and when to use any particular word but in this session we shall be uh, talking about the retention methods to increase retention means abhi yaad kiya bhul gaya types so we want to overcome this problem so first of all let us guess the meaning of very sweet little cute word and it is so word goes like this if it is visible on your screen uh, the word is a pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis only this is what the salary you are expecting after the completion of your law or bba 1.63 crore per second after this it is called greed we have to guess the meaning of the word pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis Shadda. Did you Google it or you know uh, you know its meaning? Okay, you know its meaning. Okay, Google it. Shadda Google it. Okay, <laughs> okay. So it is a lung disease caused by inhaling small silicon ash particle. Uh, one more word. Now I will not write the word because immediately we will start googling the words. The second word is, uh, for example, flossy nosini helipilification. The second word is flossy nosini helipilification. Now try to Google it. You will not find. So the problem is this uh, vocabulary is that first of all we come across difficult words. Second we don't know where and when to use these words. Third in spite of uh, even uh, applying so many work hours on any particular word still we are not able to retain. So what are the tricks? Someone who values something worthless. Uh, Shraddha. Flossy nosin helipification is uh, zero or practical or impractical having no practical values. So these are the words, but uh, point is that uh, should we use this word in our day-to-day -day spoken? Yes, guys. Should we use these words in our day-to-day -day spoken? No. If we start using, what will happen? The people around us will have spiritual enlightenment and after spending uh, you know, good time with them, they will not be able to understand. Some of our well-wishers will call our parents and tell them, to get our checkup done because of mental breakdown if we start using these words let's say if you're enjoying your lunch or dinner or party at a restaurant and waiter comes to you and says mr uh, mr do you need anything or something and you uh, uh, say no flossy nosini hilly pilification what will happen waiter behosh he will lose his consciousness and will fall on floor you just said nothing I am done with. So problem one of the story is that we are not supposed to use these words in day to day spoken. So what is the, what are the ideas? What are the tricks so as to uh, retain the words or learn the words? Now we shall be taking up each trick one by one. So guys let's move on to trick number one. The purpose of this session uh, we want to learn how to improve our direct vocabulary. Second trick we shall be taking up how roots are helpful. Third trick association method and fourth trick we shall be taking up would be word family tricks. So these are few tricks so as to help us in improving our direct vocabulary or retention part. Uh, no method is perfect in itself. Make sure, keep this in mind. We have to uh, adopt multi-pronged approach so as to increase our vocabulary. 
you cannot simply take a one trick and learn the entire vocabulary but we need to adopt go through three or four methods so what are these methods and how they are to be applied let's see so why vocabulary because in all the major entrance exam you'll have a direct vocabulary based question like antonyms or synonyms and of of course per verbal section per paper you will have one or two rcs and rcs reading comprehension vocabulary is backbone of rcs sometimes you are not able to understand rcs because of difficult vocabulary used by the author so all in all in sentence completion means fill in the blanks question you get the help and uh, uh, the analogy based question a is to b is given to us and we have to find out b is to uh, c is to what next topic we shall be taking up and uh, and after this antonyms synonyms so let's see the trick number 1 now you see the first picture now this is called association method now guys you have to guess the meaning of this word don't google this word just try to guess because i uh, am interested in making you learn remember this trick so congregation look at these two pics and try to guess the meaning of the word we see uh, saif uncle sharuk uncle vidya aunty and other i think some uh, school uh, gathering or something yes shraddha you are absolutely fine you are born genius it is meeting of people congregation means aggregate or assembly of people so absolutely fine let's move on to the next word this is called picture association let's say if i come across this word if i, I am writing this word mephis don't try to google it mephis tafolian but there is no point in saying don't try to google it some of you definitely will be so let's say if i come across this word guys are you able to see this word the word is mephis tafolian can you see this on your screen let it be mobile or computer press yes the word is mephistophelian let's say i am coming across this word frequently while watching tv or let's say movie reading a novel but in spite of all my best efforts i am not able to learn this word remember this word so what i'll do i'll write i'm writing the name of character from the field uh, from the field of wrestling let's say i am writing it i am writing khali so mephistophelian is equal to khali now those who are watching seeing this word for the first time hearing this word for the first time do this simple exercise watch this combination mephistophelian is equal to kali 10 uh, for 10 seconds and repeat this 10 times in your mind do this mephistophelian is equal to kali repeat this 10 times in your mind and watch this only for 10 seconds okay we are done with so uh, how does kali look like i'll tell you the method that why i am i have written this to the side of this word what is the purpose what is the logic behind writing this word so uh, how does he look like uh, he is huge does he look like fardeen khan or uh, ranveer kapoor kuttu kuttu shana shana baby types giant yes uh, the physical outlook and the dictionary meaning of mephistophelian in one who is like devil so the the physical personality the outlooks of khali is the dictionary meaning of this word from now onwards will not remember will not uh, keep this in mind that mephisto one is equal to khali the dictionary meaning of this word is one who is like devil no doubt it is a fictional character so mephisto one is equal to devil but from now onwards i'll keep in mind mephisto one is equal to khali the expiry date of this method is at least 5 years and uh, you'll be wondering that from where we have copied this method because in india copyright means is a right to copy we have taken this method from nursery kids yeah demon demon yeah devil is one who is like devil or demon is called mephistophelian yes saloni and uh, when we have taken this method from nursery kids uh, how we used to teach uh, learn a b c d Uh, we used to start like a for apple b for boy c for cat d for do or or do we used, uh, used to start like a for abstract b for boisterous c for cacophony d for dichotomy was it like that no so a for apple uh, it is easier for us to remember anything by associating the given thing with something for example if i write i'm removing removing this word uh, still i think you are underestimating the uh, method of uh, the power of this method i'm writing the word It's a simple word. I think uh, some of you uh, 
might be knowing its meaning also i am writing the word b l a n d bland so can we guess the meaning of this word let's say if you are watching this word for the first time uh, re re seeing this word for the first time to the side of blind i am uh, bland sorry i am writing your favorite vegetable let it be tinda i think we all love or tori or ghia all these are so do you love uh, tinda tori ghia kaddu karela yes guys have you ever heard these vegetable dishes no bad so you all love pizza so this is pizza generation so now we have to uh, just try to associate bland with either tinda or tori or ghia or kaddu or karela so we have to guess the meaning of heard but you don't like you all love pizza kfc chicken balti first you eat chicken then entire balti you eat okay so uh, jokes apart so bland is equal to your guess now guess the meaning of the word bland bland means anything which is not mixture i am saying bland is equal to either tinda or tori or ghee or kaddu or karela i am not saying yes disgusting is little too extreme shraddha you have to uh, yeah not interesting yes anything which is dull common boring is called bland from now onwards you are not supposed to learn remember the dictionary meaning of this word bland is equal to uh, dull common boring just uh, remember bland is equal to either tinda or tori or ghee or kaddu that's it so this is the power of this method so we learnt our first lesson with the help of this method through this method this is called association so this is picture association you are right now talking about so how to apply this method next big question is how to apply this method this is very simple so whenever we come across any difficult word open the dictionary and uh, look at its meaning try to associate the given word with one of the things you know that can be correlated with the meaning dictionary meaning of this word yes hiran lacking in taste yes uh, so and that's how we go so let's move on to the next question and i'll show you i'll show you some more pics and you have to guess the meaning okay uh, boys uh, to this side the auntie and girls i'm really sorry this time but next time i'll keep uh, paste ranveer kapoor in place of our ex pm manmohan singh so we have to guess the meaning of the word finish the word is pronounced as finish uh harris uh, walk is common orderly style of walking elegance etc this is only 30% meaning of this word not uh, even 50% what is common in the both these pics i think uh, grace is uh, yes you know again grace is 30 40% meaning of this uh, word skill sahil you have i think you are using google aunty google baba yes sahil because otherwise <laughs> it is not possible to recall the meaning immediately <laughs> sahil is uh, using google baba or google aunty uh, she is indeed very helpful so what is common in this let's see if i am coming across i am seeing this word for the first time how to guess the meaning of this word looking at this pic so look at this uh, so what is common in both pics i think walking Uh, dia aunty dia mirza is walking on the ramp shashing on the ramp and ex pm manmohan singh is taking guard of honor be it 15th august how did you associate skill with i'm i'm not uh, i'm just uh, explaining dia is not uh, she is walking uh, <laughs> she shashing on the ramp uh, for a while she has stopped and giving pose again again in while giving pose some movement is there some rules and regulation is there pm is taking guard of honor in both the situation we have to follow certain rules and regulation it is not simple let's say if she is giving pose also there, there is not something very casual or something very uh, in a leisure style or lazy style we need to follow certain rules and regulations so you are moving you are doing something with some skill otherwise this is not simple uh, photograph taken in a group and same goes for even manmohan singh is taking guard of honor and while taking guard of honor you have to be very upright straight alert attentive so in both the situation while executing these two particular tasks you need to follow certain rules and regulations so finesse is equal to skillful move or tactful move guys am i clear skill is tactful move or skillful so that is how it goes so let's move on so what we see here the word is ostentatious we have to guess the meaning of the word ostentatious and we see here what is grand okay 
सो ऑस्टेंटेशियस वी सी हियर अभिषेक बच्चन अमिताभ बच्चन ऐश्वर्या राय ओकेजन इज 30 परसेंट नॉट इवन 30 परसेंट मीनिंग शो ऑफ येस ऑस्टेंटेशियस वट वी सी हियर वेडिंग एंड दी सेलेब्रिटीज सो इफ आई कंपेयर आर नॉर्थ इंडियन बिकॉज वी आर फ्रॉम नॉर्थ इंडिया सो इफ यू कंपेयर नॉर्थ इंडियन वेडिंग्स विद येस इंटेंडेड टू शो ऑफ येस हेर इज एब्सोल्युटली फाइन सो इफ यू कंपेयर दिस विद रेस्ट ऑफ द अदर प्लेसेस हेयर नॉर्थ इंडियंस वी बिलीव इन पॉम्पमेंट शो शो ऑफ स्पेशली इंडियन वेडिंग्स लेडीज स्पेशली कंपेयर विद बप्पी द बप्पी लहरी वेन इट कम्स टू वेयरिंग गोल्ड एटलीस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड के जीज ऑफ गोल्ड and use of excessive make- makeup and uh, uh, in gents as far as uh, male section is concerned uh, we are served uh, uh, liquor uh, ethyl alcohol c2h5oh not in j- uh, glasses uh, we believe in jugs and buckets and after consuming 6 7 buckets of c2h5oh punjabis love to dance they can dance even without dj's on the sound of generator and then they start throwing away money like anything and when everything is gone then we are in shock deep shock that i last night i was carrying 1 uh, crore change now it is only 10 rupees in my pocket so where did the money go so that is what uh, north india is all about we punjabis are all about ostentatious pomp and show am i clear guys let's move on to the next word we are running short of time should we press yes if you are or alert and not uh, on whatsapp side by side the advantage one of the advantage of this session is that you can uh, at the same time you can be on whatsapp also uh, replying uh, giving replies to your favorite friend hi janu how are you long time no see etc that's the advantage in regular classroom you cannot uh, afford to do such now this is called logical association trick number 2 is logical association is also called word family also see what we do let's say we all know the meaning of the word speak and uh, whenever i come across any difficult word which is related to speaking directly or indirectly i'll write down jot down all the words on the same page that's how it is done so whenever i have to revise something to do with speaking be it more speaking less speaking nonsense speaking sensible speaking etc i will have all these words on the same page rather than writing them on different pages and not able to recall not able to revise during the examination so this is called word family trick i'll word family trick uh, what is done we write, write the synonyms and antonyms on the same page for example uh, taciturn is one who speaks less garrulous is talkative loquacious is <coughs> talkative <coughs> sorry articulate is uh, <coughs> uh, speak in a distinctive style banal is nonsense talking cogent is persuasive or very convincing talking so what we have done we have written anything which is related to speaking on the same page they all are related to speaking one way or another and when have to be when we have to revise i'll be able to see them together and my mind will catch will always keep the picture in this mind that they all are related to speaking that is a word family trick we keep the the same members together am i clear guys if i am clear press yes okay moving on to the uh, next trick now root what is root and what is we will try to understand its importance most of us are even not aware of the importance of this method so root is actually is uh, smallest part of any word which cannot be divided further and its definition is similar to the definition of an atom what is atom uh, smallest part of the uh, matter that cannot be divided further same goes for even root also it's the smallest part of uh, word which cannot be divided further and it has got its specific meaning so if we know the meaning of root then probably uh, we can guess the meaning of root also uh, let's try to understand this simple yet very very effective trick with the help of one example i am writing this word for example m a n i p u l a manipulative so guys the word is manipulative so first of all tell me in which particular sense we use this word do we use this word in positive sense or negative sense your answer quick negative sense Uh, we call these people shrewd cunning clever 
ओके सो मैनिपुलेटिव यूल सरप्राइज दैट मैनिपुलेटिव इज 110 परसेंट नॉट 100 बट 110 परसेंट पॉजिटिव इन मीनिंग but uh, the way it is used popularly we all perceive that word is negative now let us try to apply a root method here so in manipulative now listen carefully very in manipulative the root is m a n i m a n i i am writing it separately m a n i yes aloni uh, you are nearing the meaning of this word m a n i which is also equal to m a n u and they both mean hand girls you can easily identify correlate with this word manicure you before any function you go for manicure beauty parlor manicure pedicure many is hand this means hand am i clear okay uh, so many or menu is equal to hand now look coming on to the meaning of, let's try to track the meaning of this word many is hand pullet is act of and i is person skillful So now, what is meaning of this word? Dictionary meaning of this word is person who is skillful in handling any situation. I am repeating the meaning because many is hand, pullet is skillful or act of. I is person who is skillful. So manipulative is a guy who is skillful in handling any situation. Now, one who is skillful cannot be termed as negative. Can we term this guy negative? No. So, uh, but we are not able to tolerate these kind of people because of jealousy. Out of jealousy, I am not. I will not be able to tolerate this particular guy. Because we think that he is playing over smart, he or she is playing over smart. But manipulative is 110% positive, and its meaning is person who is skillful in handling any situation and who is skillful cannot be termed as negative. But the situation number two, if I am not aware of this particular meaning, the dictionary meaning of this word, uh, one of the choices uh, says shrewd or cunning or clever. i think popularly we all all know the meaning uh, in this way only so i could have picked up one of these answers or clever or cunning or shrewd as my answer option but from now onwards i know whenever or wherever we come across m a n i many or menu it means something to do with hand whether i am seeing this word for the first time or the last time but i am damn sure that this is, this has something to do with hand yes astute can be taken yes uh, but astute is not the meaning manipulative has got 110% positive it is used in positive sense uh, generally with uh, for politicians and uh, for diplomats we use this word uh, manipulate menu uh, guys we already know uh, the meaning of so many words starting with menu manuscript script written with your hand manual labor labor done with your hand so we know uh, the meaning What's the meaning of astute? One who is clever. Normally, again used uh, for uh, politicians, astute leaders, politicians. So let's. Uh, it's time to move ahead. For example, I'll pick a very common example, very popular here in among college students or school going or people of your age. For example, I'm writing the word hi-fi. Guys, last example for this trick. We after that we'll uh, go through few slides. related to a uh, root method and after that we shall be moving on to analogies so the word is hi-fi so guys guess the meaning of the word hi-fi in what particular sense we use this word this is phone is hi-fi is car is hi-fi was pen is hi-fi the person himself is hi-fi is house is hi-fi so we keep on using this word very popular in usage but uh, what is the meaning of standard is more than even standard i think we try to classy yeah classy very clear very close to uh, the way it is used while speaking ostensible seemingly sumit i think again you are uh, taking help from google aunty yes sumit yes or no <laughs> no <laughs> but sumit is absolutely fine uh, so we try to associate this word with the outlooks of an object or a person for example if your cell phone is uh, very costly very expensive classy will say that uh, cell phone is very high fi for example if the person is living in 60 bhk 60 60 60 bhk house very uh, huge so we'll say that 60 bhk cannot be termed as house it is called dharmshala here 3 4 bhk is sufficient in this entire life so we don't know one another uh, this is a way uh, we try to interact so high fi is uh, not the even complete word the complete word is Sumit already has mentioned high fidelity. This is actually an uh, acronym, high fidelity. 
from high we have taken hi from fidelity we have taken fi and high fidelity is uh, the complete word and hi and fi is an acronym made out of these uh, this particular word so now what is high fidelity in this high fidelity the complete word fide is the root the root is fide which is also equal to fed and they all mean, mean trust loyal or faith am i clear in high fidelity the root high means uncha we know level wise and fidelity in fidelity the root is fide which is equal to fedre also fed also and they all mean trust loyal or faith so high fidelity is high loyalty sumit you are right high fidelity is high loyalty now loyalty has nothing to do with the outlooks of an object or a person it has been generally seen that good looking guys are not trustworthy jokes apart uh, so am i clear guys so high fi now if i am not aware of this aspect of uh, this word meaning so let's say after high fi the word the question in my paper is high fi and we have to pick up the synonym and one of the choices says classy or expensive or let's say the very attractive so they is for sure will pick up one of these options but from now onwards i know that wherever we come across fide fed or fedre even they all mean trust loyalty or faith high loyalty yes high loyalty so this is how this is the power of this method root uh, and uh, guys we already knew so many meanings related to fedre or fide for example federal bureau of investigation federal bank of america indian hockey federation federation means hockey federation means trust uh, sorry organization based on the trust of people federal bureau of investigations yes high five okay guys uh, should we move ahead guys press yes so that i also know that i am in picture so the first next root uh, guys uh, we see anthrop so we have to guess the meaning of the root anthrop the root here is anthrop quick guys we are running short of time anthrop anthrop means human now what is anthropology logy means study the study of human race is mankind is anthropology phil you will find one root here phil phil means love or inclination for love for philanthropy yeah pro human trophy phil act trophy is act so any act you do to show your love towards mankind be it charity helping poor be uh, teaching poor kids etc one who does this is called philanthropist let's move ahead to the next slide guys gamus so i was eagerly waiting for this slide so gamus this is a root so we have to guess the meaning of this root first gamus means marriage absolutely fine shraddha so first of all let us talk about the word which is out of fashion nowadays it is monogamy mono is single one who believes in single partner is called going for single partner is called monogamy and uh, nowadays uh, what is in fashion it is polygamy poly is many one who believes in many partners moving on to the word exogamous ex means out so exo when you marry outside your country outside your community outside your culture is called exogamy when you marry within your country within your culture within your community is called endo so am i clear guys uh, move on to the next slide endo is when you marry within your culture endo is within exo is ex is out endo is in inside your inside your community culture country is called endogamy and ester the next root is ester guys the ester means the root means star yes so let's discuss uh, these words we'll rush through astrology what is astrology and how come it is different from the word astronomy astronomy is scientific study astrology is study of effect of stars it is pseudo science astronomy is pure science yes not means travel one who travels through the stars is called astronaut that is antriksh yatri or cosmonaut american call themselves astronaut and uh, uh, russian call themselves cosmonaut astral al is related to astral related to stars move on to next slide phobia the phobia is fear yes first of all bibliophobia bible is book fear of books we all fear books during exam times hydrophobia hydro is fear of water especially boys hostlers instead of taking shower during winter they prefer gels and deos arachnophobia especially girls feel this 
arachnophobia arachno is spider fear of insects especially spiders what is biblio biblio's book bible from this taken from the book bible bible is book fear of books is called bibliophobia am i clear harris okay necrophobia guys whether you are a boy or a girl we all fear this we all have fear for this necro is dead fear of dead we all fear dead people ghosts etc so let's move on to the next guys prefix prefix means if you write something before any root it's called prefix and after any root is called suffix so let's move on to the next slide so guys we see here bio bio means life so biography you write something about your life is called biography biology is study of life and biotechnology anything any technology that will help in increasing our life span biosphere sphere is area so what is biosphere bio is area where one can find life happily so these all are adverbs happily means doing in a happy way worldly means related to world cheerfully means in a cheerful way noisily means having too many noises around so again uh, guys this is one of the word family tricks again uh, what we have done uh, this is just to teach you one more example earlier we saw something to do with speaking now this is let's say abundant and upper circle we have written synonyms and lower circle lower half we have written antonyms for example excess is abundant bountiful is abundant voluminous is abundant minuscule opposite scanty less so guys uh, are you understanding whatever we are discussing or you are just exchanging few notes press yes if i am clear and we have understood till here okay great guys you all are born genius now guys tell me few negative words looking at this pic is gulshan grover from bollywood and she is mother teresa tell me some positive villain yes tell me some more negative words villain cruel exploitation bad guy mean and tell me some positive word looking at mother teresa then i'll tell you what's the purpose of showing this merciless hair merciful callous yes hair sweet yes loving caring affectionate compassion compassionate uh benevolent yes 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 so what is the purpose of showing uh, showing you these two pics so we wanted to teach you make you learn two slides two roots and these are right in front on your screen even mele and bene so mele is what is mele mele is bad always and bene or bene is good so malevolent bad guy benevolent good guy we already know so many meanings related to based on this root bene benefit useful benign is to say something positive malign is to say something negative malicious is ill will and benevolent is good guy so guys are you able to see amita bachan and this word bacchanalian we have to guess the meaning of this word bacchanalian amita bachan with the bottle of liquor is father of abhishek bachan yes now what is the logic of selecting only amita bachan here is that bachan bacchan bacchanalian is uh, yeah word uh, so uh, bacchanalian is one who is addicted to drinking alcoholic or drunk why we have selected amita bachan because the very first half of this word is uh, similar to the name of this guy so amita bachan just you have to this called picture association just remember bacchanalian is equal to amita bachan uh, in front of liquor bottle having liquor bottle so bacchanalian is one who is addicted to drinking catastrophe give me a word meaning of this word guys quick we are running really short of time i am still left with analgies disaster sudden sudden disaster you are not given any time to save your life is called catastrophe sudden disaster synchronize sin is together sin is together cron is time putting all time frames together that is called synchronize coordination yes holocaust guests quick guys holocaust holocaust is again disaster mass destruction yes monarch i come across monarch is equal to i suppose not anki what is monarch monarch is mon is single single king single higher suit we have to guess the meaning of this word higher suit can it be fardeen khan ranveer kapoor hrithik roshan hairy yes it is hairy the common feature here is we see a lot of hair on this surface hairy is called higher suit and the last slide vocabulary last slide abash it's very interesting story first 
uh, they were in relationship Salman and Ashwarya then breakup happened Vivek Oberoi entered guest appearance for 7 months and finally now she is married to Abhishek Bachchan Abhishek is only popular on prestige pressure cooker ad jo bibi se kare pyar prestige se kaise kare inkar shameful yes diksha abash is embarrassed or shameful the ladies uh, yes embarrassing so who has embarrassed who whom uh, this ashwarya rai she is otherwise talented beautiful actress of bollywood i am the best teacher thank you anjali but uh, we all are indians so abash abash is now we have we have selected salman khan abhishek bachchan look at the division here abash can be taken as ab abhishek ashwarya abhishek ashwarya is equal to abash and abash is embarrassed that's how we learn this word okay uh, so guys uh, the time is uh, i think we need to move on to our next topic online test to be taken just take pause and uh, these are the tests you can take online and these are the videos you can still watch we have got vocabulary vocabulary basic vocabulary building contextual etc again you have got everything in place so again you can watch the video now i am uh, moving on to the next topic analgies we are still left with only 35 40 minutes i think i'll take 10 minutes more of your precious time can i take 10 minutes extra for this class guys press yes or no no problem okay guys move on to the next slide this is american accent okay okay now verbal analgies so what is analgy uh, the base word is analgy analogous analogous means similar and uh, relation yes so the the topic is very simple scoring also you will come across two to two to three questions sometimes in verbal section verbal ability of your clat bba or uh, uh, other exams 12th exams 12th level or in reasoning section also of your these plus 2 competitive exams you will uh, come across analogy based question so what is given the question format is very simple we are given a is to b and we have to find out similar to a is to b we have to find out c is to what in pu law uh, in pu law uils uh, one or two question not not uh, ipm yes uh, three to four question based on analogies but they keep on changing pattern also but as far as pattern last time in ipm uh, the section verbal section was dominated by fill in the blanks or sentence completion question again they are vocabulary based so guys make sure that you revise words till the time you take exam i think first is on 14th may or 16th may first year entrance exam uh, that is your uh, clat if i am right okay uh, so guys uh, analogies am i clear sybb okay what do you mean by no sir amandeep 7th may elit yes yes so analogies is we are given a is to b and we have to find similar to a is to b the two words relation to between these two word we have to find out c is to what am i clear in symbiosis also yes yes we will definitely in symbiosis 37 verbal question and 2 3 analogies yes okay guys in first few slides uh, so what shall we learn i am skipping this slide you can take pause and come back we shall be covering all these in two slides we have to decode the relationship for example uh, type quickly fruit is to orange first is one of the types of first drug is to cure what is the relation between these two words purpose of drug is to cure yes brain is to thinking what is the relation between these two word the purpose of this organ is to do this organ function so problem is to key next fourth problem is to key the second is solution to the first poor is to money poor needs money studies to learning what's the relation between these two words first leads to second study leads to learning we have to match the first set with the second one for example if i pick east is to west pair of opposite so this is your question pair this is your answer pair so if i pick east is to west pair of opposite this will go with poor is to affluent so i is to c i is to c will go with brain is to think organ function relation whale is one of the mammals similarly orange is one of the fruits and moralistic person yes moralistic person will stick to follow his or her principles similarly zealot person who has lost zeal enthusiasm zealot will have fervor 
enthusiasm fervor is enthusiasm now uh, this is analogy is sometimes difficult when it is driven by vocabulary if we come across difficult words leave aside the uh, ability to correct relationship between two words first of all if we are not aware of the meanings of the given of given word then we are gone we are helpless so make sure that you focus on vocabulary fervor means enthusiasm yes uh, fervor is zealot will have fervor fervor is enthusiasm he will have zeal zeal is fervor am i clear guys press keep on pressing yes because now we have to rush through topic is simple otherwise you all are genius so uh, in uh, uh, analogies two things are very important uh, order is extremely important for example in question pair here we have cause and here we have effect in answer pair also first should be cause and second word should be its effect that is called order is very important for example in question pair first cause word is given then effect in answer pair also the same order is to be followed so therefore order is very important okay in exam you will come across uh, this particular style kindness is to humane so guys the first question right in front of you on your screen we have to pick up the right option tell me the answer guys yeah so humane will have kindness in him or her similarly the bold person will have courage bold is bahadur and uh, stamps is to flatly no doubt nothing to be the question wrong option wrong option uh, fourth seems to be seems to be close but uh, christianity was not started by christ christ didn't have christianity in him for example human will have kindness in him or her but christ didn't have christianity is the name of a religion which was started by followers of christ so therefore rejected on the basis of not following the uh, given question pattern and stamps is to flatlist so in the given question we are given humane acche insaan mein kindness hota hai bold mein courage hota hai that's how it goes am i clear zina thina etc okay moving on to the next robbery is to crime is the next question followed by four options take your time answer i think we are well in time yes robbery is one of the crimes similarly painting is one of the forms of art absolutely fine second is the answer option here trickery is equal to wizardry trickery is to play trick and wizardry is also trick so these are synonyms why not third absolutely fine saloni had the order been because sonnet is one of the poems poem is not one of the sonnets the order here is wrong therefore it is rejected am i clear saloni anjali why not one truth is not one of the emotions it is a characteristic of any statement truth is the characteristic not one of the emotions am i clear anjali am i clear saloni and uh, anjali four no no trickery is wizardry therefore we have rejected these two are synonym here the relation is robbery is first is one of the types of second trickery is not one of the types of first therefore rejected am i clear guys okay uh, moving on to the next passive is to movement and followed by four options take your time answer guys so one or two one or two or three okay let us look at the question pair first answer to track the answer is very simple this is your question pair passive is not moving anything passive will lack movement so kind of opposites similarly the hypothetical one who lacks reality anything that lacks reality hypothetical is not practical therefore to now art and science are not opposite to each other therefore rejected truth opposite is lie not liar liar is a person therefore rejected fourth also gone and stable stability has nothing to do with the given question am i clear guys should we move ahead okay be aware of the secondary meaning now difference between primary and secondary meaning so uh, first of all we should know what is primary meaning primary meaning is the dictionary meaning of any word the dictionary meaning of any word is called its primary meaning and the meaning of any word other than its dictionary meaning is called secondary meaning am i clear guys the primary meaning is the dictionary meaning of the word any word and meaning of the word other than the dictionary meaning of the word is called secondary meaning for example if i write pride is to loin pride is to loin so what is the relation between these two words quick pride is to loin 
yeah generally we will go with this pride is to loin means loin symbolizes pride if you are not able to since is king of jungle therefore uh, it symbolizes pride but if we are not able to find the meaning uh, the right answer option based on the dictionary meaning pride is self respect so loin symbolizes pride based on this relation if i am not able to find uh, the uh, answer option then it is for sure that there is some twist in the story pride is primary meaning is self respect but the secondary meaning is group of loins called pride so if i am not able to track the answer with the help of the primary meaning that's for sure i need to recheck there is some twist in the story secondary meaning of this word pride is group of loins so we need to track scan the option with respect to this secondary meaning then we shall be able to solve the question so similarly group of school a group of fish is called school so if we are not able to track the answer with respect to dictionary meaning then recheck the option it is for sure that question is based on secondary meaning am i clear guys still here if you are not able to find the answer with respect to dictionary primary meaning dictionary meaning then it is for sure question is based on secondary meaning now the next question is based on secondary meaning yeah take your time and then answer but uh, okay this is uh, sorry primary meaning this is primary meaning court is to justice first of all try to track the relation between the given question pair court is to justice court is meant to provide you justice as we are not talking about badminton court or we are not talking about table tennis court lawn tennis court for sure no uh, guys it cannot be first first is only applicable uh on punjab police here we do not go to the court we settle the dispute at the police station only therefore rejected court is for sure meant to provide you justice now while solving these kind of question don't get sentimental people really get sentimental and they recall dialogue from one of the sunny deol film sir kaha mila garibo ko insaaf unhe mili tareekh pe tareekh tareekh pe tareekh so court is meant to provide you justice so don't go for all senti so called dialogues am i clear so it is garage is to parking garage meant for parking and don't try to recall again the indian version of garage sir in garage one of my friend has badminton court table tennis court and there are certain usages which we cannot share publicly but garage meant only for parking if you are not using this to park your car then it is up to you we live in democratic society but garage meant for parking why it cannot be book answer is option number 2 and why it cannot be book is to education we may or may not get education from the book from books we get information and computer is typing and nothing to with the given question am i clear guys i am going a little fast because we are running short of time okay why not 3 shraddha why not 3 book from book we may or may not get education we get education now the second first i told you that the order should be correct now listen this very carefully order of the given relation should be correct should match with the question pair second the answer of analogy question will be correct taken correct if these two properties are satisfied second is there should not be any kind of ambiguity in the answer pair in book is to education there is a uh, little ambiguity because we can get education outside the book also from the book we get information so two things should be correct the order of the relation and there should not be any ambiguity if these two conditions are satisfied then the answer is correct moving on to the next question drop is to flood ambiguity 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 means not having clear meaning diksha am i clear meaning of ambiguity is there should be clarity ambiguity is anything which is not clear so drop is to flood very senti question people really get senti means they generally come up with bond bond se sagar bharta hai coins is equal to money coins doesn't uh, coins do not mean less of money coins is money word is to book it is too far first of all let us try to track the relation between drop is to flood leave answer aside leave answer it cannot be four is it not uh, coins is money we think that coin is kam paisa and money is zyada paisa coin is money so drop is to flood let us try to uh, track the relation between uh, drop is to flood drop means less amount of water and flood is more amount of water so this is actually varying degree relation the first drop is less amount of water flood is more amount of water so now scan the option where you find varying degree relationship it is 3 absolutely guys it is 
Smile is to laugh. Smile is halka fulka muskaat and laugh is full blown. So this is called varying degree. Why it can't be word is to book? Because uh, we cannot say that in word we have got less word and book we have got more words. Book may or may not have words. Book may be collection of poems, your scrapbook, notebook, checkbook, etc. Yeah, option two would have been correct had the order been correct. That's why we have rejected film is to seen. Absolutely fine, guys. So word is to book. If I write sentences here, and if I write books here, book. In sentences, we have got less words, alphabets, and in uh, books, we have got more alphabets. So this also would have been correct, but again rejected because there is uh, too far-fetched relationship. And two, we have rejected because order is wrong. Fourth has nothing to do with the given question. Am I clear, guys? Press yes. Okay, moving on to the next. It is very important to know our vocabulary. Now the next question: Smile is to pleasure. Tomorrow we shall be taking up RCs, reading comprehension. I'll be taking the lecture again. So smile is to pleasure. So we do first when we feel second. Yes, four is the right option. Journey will not always. Say so there is ambiguity. The journey will not always lead to exhaustion. It depends who has called you. If it is your mom, then you will refuse. That mom, abhi time ni. I'm too busy with. If your girlfriend, I'll be there in 15 minutes, baby. So it may not or may or may not happen. Weep is to lose. We do not weep always when we lose something. Sleep is to night. May or may not. Shiver is to cold. When we feel, we do first. We feel second. Same for the question pair also. We do first when we feel second. Am I clear, guys? Keep pressing Y. Do not write even E S. Next question. Adolescence is to adulthood. What shall be the answer? Second problem is to after see the relation question. Let's try to uh, crack the relation. After adolescence, the next stage is of adulthood. So it has to be three. After examination, result will come. Whether it's in a favor or not, but it's for sure. So it has to be sure shot and order should be correct. No ambiguity. It it cannot be marriage. So first of all, its, it's order is wrong. Had it been the other way, after engagement, it is not again sure that marriage will happen. People are nowadays interested are. Playing, let's play engagement. Engagement. After that, we'll decide we have to play marriage, marriage or not. So this may or may not happen. Otherwise, so third, a night and day. It is very difficult, somic to tell uh, uh, what will come first. It is a circular arrangement. First day, then night. So it is a circle. Doesn't have any end or starting point. So we cannot say. Am I clear, guys? Moving on to the next question. I don't know how many slides are still left. Doctor is to thermometer, tool professional. It has to be first technician is to screwdriver. You all are born genius. It cannot be fourth because writer's tool is his thoughts, not pen. Therefore rejected. Great. It's for sure you'll be able to clear all the exams. You'll come out with flying colors. Will make your country, nation, parents, friends, and your would be pride. So uh, vaccination is to immunity. Uh, to get Im immunity, we go for vaccination. Absolutely, for approval, we need permission. Very good. Money may or may not give you guarantee. Other options are way out of track. Therefore, rejected. The answer here is three. Uh, very classy question. Take your time and then answer. People really get sentimental while answering this question. Train is to track and. Uh, Let's say so, Anjali. Uh, your uh, three four one. How come it is three four one? Are you a regular student at Patiala or so? Yes, Anjali. Are you a regular student? No, you're from Ambala. That's why you're so sure, sure about the answer. Okay, guys. Rest of the guys. Uh, answer is uh, we are confused between either one or three. First of all, let's try to crack the relation between train and track. Now, let's say this is your track. So, what is the purpose of track? First, it facilitates the running of the train. So, the purpose of track number one is it facilitates the running of the train. Train can run without track also, but it is called accident. So, we are talking about running of the train. That to normal running. Second purpose of the track is to give direction. Wherever track goes, train will go there only. It cannot be track is moving towards left side and driver will say bore ho gaya ja ja ke, let's move on to let's go on to the right side it cannot happen so now we have to check which the, if these two properties are satisfied 
then the answer would be there so let us pick up car is to road kha in american accent is called kha if punjabi is standing over there uh, will be shocked and will start finding what kha ki kha so kha to car is british pronunciation gaddi yeah it's gaddi so car is to road the purpose of road is no doubt to facilitate the running of the car fine but road will not give the direction to the car direction is given by the steering wheel so first is rejected so missile is to trajectory most of the science students get sentimental for this option number 3 what is trajectory it is a path followed by the missile if missile goes like this it is called trajectory so trajectory will neither provide running nor direction it is only a path rasta the ultimate answer is pure punjabi version it's called bullet here we pronounce this as bullet so answer is bullet is to barrel so barrel first of all that pipe the passage the way the barrel provides running first and secondly the direction also where you face wherever you face barrel the bullet goes in that direction so answer to this is bullet is to barrel am i clear guys train is to track the answer to this analogy is bullet is to barrel great okay uh, go ahead anjali what doubt you have yes anjali uh, also small ready kind of thing uses track so we haven't understood what kind of small ready thing you are talking about uh, am i clear with the answer guys train is to track the correct answer is bullet is to barrel am i clear guys yes anjali you also tell okay 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 fine 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 let's move it let's move it this is the last question socks is to shoes i don't know why why boys go after this second choice lipstick is to handbag and this is absolutely wrong choice i don't know how come they are able to correlate this relation okay it is petrol is to car again petrol is to car you all are super genius guys answer is petrol is to car it cannot be coffee is to tea what is the relation between socks is to shoes uh, these are to be used together but nowadays outside the question so they are to be used together and petrol is to car complementary pair they are to be used together will work only but most of the times i have seen uh, outside the question uh, then whenever i come across guys only who is only wearing shoes and not wearing socks if i ask them so how come you are wearing only shoes where is your socks sir this is fashion you don't know anything about fashion okay guys i do not understand anything about the fashion then one day i came across a guy who was uh, uh, wearing only socks then i again asked him now what is this sir this is height of fashion you do, will not understand this okay so the time has come to wind up the session guys uh, no alternate to good vocabulary uh, make sure that you work on your vocabulary skills tomorrow we shall be taking a reading comprehension these are the tests you can take on website energy test 1 to 4 sectional test energy basics 1 to 2 basic level low and a test if you come across only test level little higher videos you can watch the uh, videos yes rc rc uh, reading comprehension not rajma chawal okay uh, so guys need not to worry tomorrow i'll tell you few tricks magic tricks how to solve rcs and uh, you will definitely find your scores improved a lot and you will get offer letter from top most institutes plus air ticket from top most institutes yeah, absolutely i'm not joking okay guys uh, so time has come to wind up this session so i thank you all for sparing your time and listening and tolerating me for one and a half hours or so so see you tomorrow same time 6:30 to 8 and uh uh we'll have some chit chat interaction and we'll try to overcome this so called reading comprehension that is a uh, kind of nightmare for you and taking away your sleep and kind of bachcho ki jaan le lete hain chote chote rcs but uh, tomorrow we shall meet again and we'll discuss till then see you and enjoy your dinner with your parents family have outing great day great life need not worry idioms i'll tell you about idioms also Okay guys thank you once again good night and to know more about all these videos log on to our youtube channel hitbullseye.com good night see you